hi guys welcome back to another another video <clears throat> hi guys welcome back to another tutorial um this tutorial is about the the down part of the red gown i promised to make a video on this and also someone asked me to someone reminded me about that i'm very busy someone reminded me about that so i dropped a comment in the comment section that i was going to drop the video on the first of november so this is the video this is the full front block of a skirt the full and this is the half of it what i actually did was after drafting this i had to put paper on fold this way and then i i put this on it and cut out then traced out the darts for the sake of this video we'll be leaving this and not this one though depending on the style you want to make you'll be needing just this you'll be okay but for the sake of that style we'll be needing this okay now bear in mind that these are the darts these are the darts and this is center front from the fold you can actually see this is center front lest i forget please if you're yet to subscribe to this channel do well to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video it's totally free please support the channel support the channel so that we'll be encouraged to do more videos okay all right so having said that we'll get straight into the video these are the dots and this is the center front now we are going to be based on the style as you can see on the screen that thing in the front that looks like a peplum like uh, should i call it an exaggerated peplum you know okay whatever i don't i don't really know what to call it this is the shape of that thing that you're seeing in the front we are going to be having that shape like we'll get that shape first that's sh the shape of that thing on the on the skirt that peplum or whatever it is on the skirt so we'll get the shape of that but before that we we'll determine the length you determine the length that you want okay so i'll be right back hmm. okay so I've gotten my tape rule now. We're going to determine the length. It depends on the length you want, but so that it doesn't really look so bad. The normal length for a peplum, normally I use seven inches. I use seven, so we're going to be using seven inches here for the length of that peplum. Well, you can use eight, but don't, don't let it not exit eight so that it's not be too long. Shouldn't exit eight, so it's too, if it looks, if it's too long, the fitting won't be there. If you have a mannequin, you can put on your mannequin, like the pinable mannequin. You can put it there. You can put your muslin cloth there and or your tape rule and check where the length of the paper can actually be. But this is what I've been doing with experience and with time. It should be seven inches and maximum of eight inches maximum of eight inches it's not it shouldn't go beyond eight inches so it doesn't look very long so i haven't determined the length i'm going to be attaching please watch very closely so that you get everything i'm seeing this is actually easy if you concentrate and watch this video it's very actually easy you have to tape this down the sake of this extension is if you look at the the red gown by the side you find that the purple is kind of extended you you don't see this line that joins like to the side seam you don't see this side seam this thing is like it's kind of outward covering that side seam okay so that was what i actually did here then you go in from the very tip of your side seam don't come out from the tip of your side seam you determine how you want it to sweep out how much you want the peplum to sweep out of the side seam i'll be using two inches this is optional you can use as much as you want 
depending on how much you want the peplum to sweep out just be creative okay just be creative and do what you think is going to be nice for you now this is it okay okay it's straight out okay and remember that from here to this we are having that point attached to the center front that very stuff is being attached to the center front okay and also the peplum here too is being swept out like it's curved out but not getting to this place so we'll come in by two inches and i don't really know how to explain properly with like verbally i don't know how to explain verbally from from what you're seeing in the video this is what you should do when you're drafting the pattern you should have something that looks like this okay so from here i'll be taking this from the very tip of this that or i can just extend it a little from half inch half inch from here and just go half inch from here to this place okay all right i mean if you want this to be much more if you want it also to be if you want it to like sweep out you can also do that but i'm okay with this okay i'm okay i'm just okay with this <clears throat> i'm okay with this so this will come into this place and down to this point I hope you can see this clearly and down to this point and probably stop wherever you want your slit to start there is a front slit so whatever you're doing the whole peplum thing should like come down to this place and this is what the shape should look like from here down to this place and i don't really know how to explain this properly verbally but when you're watching as you're watching the video you should be able to understand what I am saying just concentrate and watch the video and you should be able to understand what I am saying. So this is what you, this is what the shape looks like. We have this, this, to this point. Okay, we have this, 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 this coming in here, and something like this. This is actually the trickier part of this pattern. I'm going to be tracing this out now. I okay. I don't really have a good tracing paper. I'm supposed to be tracing this out. I was thinking this is going to be transparent enough so I can see this. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> 